I'm going to dry winterize my travel trailer and I'm going to show you how. The first thing you're going to want to do is locate your hot water heater and drain the water from your hot water heater. I installed one of these quick easy drain plugs. After installing this, it's easy as just screwing it open. And releasing the valve and the water will drain from the hot water heater once it's done draining you can tighten it back up and close the valve the next thing you're gonna have to get yourself is a blowout valve I found this on Amazon I'll link below so what you need to do is take your your blowout plug and attach it to your city in So another thing you're going to need is an air compressor. Now since I'm at the storage facility and there's no place to plug in my air compressor, I do have my generator. So I will have to run my generator to plug in my air compressor in order to blow air through my lines and clear the water. I also have a valve that will attach to the blowout plug. Now it has a trigger and the only way I can hold the trigger in is to strap it down with this. So I'm going to wrap it around to hold the trigger in and fasten it in place so I can go inside and turn on each faucet allowing the water to be blown through. exceeding 30 pounds of pressure. In fact, it's at 24.6. Okay, so essentially what you're doing is you're pressurizing your lines with air and forcing the water to all the faucets. Any place that water comes out, you're pushing it all with air. And then you're releasing the water from each valve inside the trailer cold until you reach nothing but air turn it off turn on the hot until you reach nothing but air turn it off and move to the next water source which would be the bathroom in my case i went from the kitchen to the bathroom i did the bathroom sink i did the toilet and i did the shower all the same until water all came out and i got nothing but air through that line and they should be dry So you want to do hot and cold until it starts blowing air. Air. Alright. And do every faucet. Air. And then the toilet, of course. Run it till it's air. Basically, you want to get all the water out of the lines. Okay, so, once you have all the lines blown out and you've drained all the water, there's only one final thing that's recommended. Pour a little RV antifreeze down the drain of each water source. So in the sink, a little down the drain. In the toilet, a little down the drain. In the shower, a little down the drain. In the bathroom, a little down the drain in the sink. What this does is it protects the P-traps 
and it adds a little bit of antifreeze to the gray tank. That way nothing that's in the gray tank, that little bit of water will freeze and your sensors will protect it. So that's how I dry winterize my travel trailer. Now, a couple of reasons why I dry winterize as opposed to wet winterize, which is running the antifreeze through the lines, is because one, we live in the south where our winters are relatively mild. That's not to say we don't get below freezing temperatures, because we do. But the more important reason is we plan on going to the mountains and do some winter camping this year for Christmas. So it didn't make much sense for me to wet winterize and then turn around in a couple of weeks to unwinterize the trailer so we can go out and do some winter camping. So dry winterizing for me works best, but you need to consider your climate, your area, and what your camping style is um, to decide what kind of winterization you want to do. Dry winterizing works for me, and this is how you do it if you choose to do it. Now I know I ran through this really quick, so if you have any questions, comment below and I'll get back to you. If there's anything I missed, I'll answer them. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and subscribe because I'm going to attempt to put out a weekly video, whether it be camping or modifications that I do for the trailer, such as winterizations and um, accessories that I install in the trailer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.